What's going on, everybody? So I'm here and sitting with my big blue machine and had a couple of mishaps this past couple of weeks. I was sitting at the machine, watching it do its work, and all of a sudden saw some flickering, uh, had some lights turning off, sensors going off, and all of a sudden, machine died. Come to find out, got looking around, and found out that my 24-volt power supply had gone out. So that's what we're going to talk about now, and I'm going to run you through how to replace yours. So first off, let's talk a little bit about the symptoms that I was having. So I was sitting here at my, my computer where I'm standing now. Computer's here and the machine is here. As I was working and doing some design work, machine was running, I actually had um, these lights had started to flicker. They turned off. I had actually had the power strip in the back had turned off as well. And then, you know, the controller was still on. The machine, it, the job stopped, and the controller also threw out a code um, or an error, basically saying that the water flow sensor detected no flow, which I stopped. I went through, checked all my hoses in the back. You can see back here, all my hoses are back here. Um, checked to see if there were pressure on both sides. They were actually one of the hoses even popped off, and there was water shooting out. So I knew that that was okay. I, uh, the chiller wasn't sounding an alarm, like everything back there was fine. Um, and then by the time I had kind of finished going through that, the controller had actually shut off and then getting no power to the controller. Granted, I was still getting power to the laser power over on the other side. So that seems to be fine. I was even getting on the little dial over there, I was still getting a reading that the power was, was getting over there come into here and this actually has a grate that goes over the top of it like this um, I had pulled this off and normally if you don't tinker with it and mess with it and try and fix it there's a fuse that sits right here um, this fuse had a nice big black mark running through it and so that's an indicator that the fuse had had burnt up um, I tried to solder but comes to find out I'm not good at soldering so I've actually, I ordered a replacement. Um, I actually reached out to OM Tech as well, and they are sending a replacement. Um, but I ordered one off of Amazon because it would get here a little bit faster and I could get it swapped out, get back running again. So my next steps, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take some pictures, label these wires, and then pair them up to the connections on the new power supply because they're a little bit different and we'll walk through um, kind of how all that works. All right, so I want to get in close and just kind of compare the two power supplies that we have here. So this is the original one that has, it's a 24 volt and five volt. This one that I'm going to put in is just a 24 volt. Um, it was the, the supply that I could find that would actually work with the machine, but it doesn't have the five volt. Granted, the only thing that the five volt power actually works for is the red dot pointer, this guy right there. Um, so I'm just going to go without it for right now. Granted, you can always get a second 5 volt power supply that will run off of the same um, lines here, your, your 110 that's coming in, and then you're able to, to split that off and it would just run just 5 uh, volt power. But if you look real close, so you can kind of see here are all the markings as far as what goes on here. Um, obviously, there's only going to be one voltage on this one. So you saw where this is a um, V1, V2 over here. So the V1 is the 24 volt, the V2 is five volt. Over here, all we've got is this right here. So you can see here's the line in, line out, or the, the line, the neutral, the ground, and then common wires, and then the line wires. So those right there, <clears throat> are all going to be 24 volt. So all of these are pretty much running the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll get that hooked up, and then we'll give her a rip. Okay, so we are back over here at the old, or old uh, 24 volt power supply. And I've gone through and I've labeled all these. Um, I wouldn't say I have a great memory, and so I'm not going to try and remember which place these all go. 
But I do know, so it says the V1 and V2 up here. I do know that this right here was my 24 volt that goes to V1 because my original error assist was hooked up to this and I know that it was 24 volt. So I know that this one was 24 volts, so I followed pattern. Everything V1, I labeled with 24. If it was the ground one, I also labeled it 24G, so it's a ground. And then over here on the five volt, it's actually the V2, labeled that five, and the ground that goes with it, 5G. Um, so now that I've got all these labeled, I'll start taking these apart. One thing to note, I have had my machine unplugged for some time. There is no power that has been running through this. All the capacitors, every all power is drained. Make sure that you are not doing this live. You could hurt yourself, don't do it. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start undoing all this stuff and we'll get the new controller, or the new, sorry, not controller, the new power supply get in here. Okay, so I've got everything hooked up now. Um, so the power supply is in, you can see we've got the line, neutral, ground, on my 24 volt, these right here are the five volt that I'm not gonna hook up. So we're just gonna kind of leave those, pinch them down out of the way for right now, and I'll decide what I wanna do as far as a laser pointer later. I may just find a 24 volt um, laser and then just run new lines, um, or even I actually guess I could just disconnect and then connect to these wires up in the supply. But now that that's hooked up, let's give it a try, get some of my junk out of here, um, and Power it on. Oh, that's what I like to see. So now my controller is turned on. The the gantry is moving. Lights are coming on. Everything is right in my world again. Um, so yeah, it, it looks like everything everything's working like it should, and I'm back up and running. All right, everybody, so that's a wrap for that. Um, I got the power supply swapped out and that was the main issue. I even went back and I checked some of the sensors, uh, especially I talked about the issue with the water flow sensor. That hasn't been an issue. That's hooked up, working great. Um, on my other machine, I do have a water sensor that I'm gonna change out here soon. We're gonna make a video of that. But if this was helpful for you, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know um, what your experiences have been. But yeah, getting this swapped out, getting that 24 volt power supply, even though it was on a quick, hey, Amazon order, I'll put it in the description, um, but it gets me back up and running. The only thing that I lost right now is the red dot pointer, which to me really isn't a huge deal. Um, I can get around that with most things that I'm cutting. Um, accuracy isn't a huge big deal with just cutting out cutouts. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll figure out a way to get the red dot back up, even if that's buying a 24 volt red dot or, or something of the combination of having a five volt power supply put in there as well. But thanks for watching. Hang out for the next one.